Citrus trees are gross feeders. That doesn't mean that they're messy eaters. It just means that they need a lot of nutrients to produce fruit. Now, over time, a citrus tree in a pot like this will chew through the nutrients in the mix. And you'll end up with a sick tree like this lime here that's all yellow. So the best way to do it is rejuvenate it by potting it up with some new mix. And this is in a small pot, so I'm going to put it into a bigger one. Now, normally I'd prune off any dead, diseased or damaged wood, but this one's pretty good. All I'm going to do for this little fella is pick off the flowers. The reason I'm picking the flowers off this lime is because I don't want it to be concentrating its energies on producing fruit. I want it to be settling into its new home. I love the smell of citrus flowers. <laughs> so what I want to do is put it in this bigger pot. But all I have to do is get out of this one. <sighs> this plant has really filled out the old pot. Now, normally with a plant with a root zone like this, I'd tease them out, but I don't like to touch the roots of citrus because you can put them under stress. So the next thing I have to do is actually make a mix up for it. I've got a good quality potting mix as a base, and all I'm going to do is add half a bucket of compost and mix it all through. Now, the reason I've chosen this pot is because citrus are shallow-rooted trees, and they don't actually like to grow in pots like this here that is tall and skinny. So I've gone with a wider pot of the same height. That way, I can put the plant in at the right level. It's important to put plants in pots at the same level as they were in the last pot. And if it's a grafted citrus tree, make sure that that graft union is a couple of inches above the level of the soil. Now, a few tips when potting up any plant. Make sure that the top roots are covered with your soil. And on the flip side, don't go too high with your mix above the lip of the pot. What will happen is when you water, the water will just roll off the sides and your plant will dry out. Now, the next thing I like to do is mulch the top of the pot with a bit of straw. What this will do is help to regulate the temperature in the pot. It's also trapping a good bit of moisture. And as far as fertilizer goes, I don't need to fertilize this because the potting mix already has it in it, and I've added a bit of compost. I'll fertilise in a couple of weeks' time when the plant's settled in, and then in the following spring. But what I'm going to do for now for the plant is put in a little bit of kelp mix and water it in. This will help to minimise any transplant shock to those young roots. This little lime tree is going to love its new home. And when it grows up big and strong and healthy, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do it all over again.